story of the April 19 revolution of Joseon University High School. The Gwangju April 19 revolution took place when students from Joseon University High School who had advanced to Gimnamlo around noon after Gwangju High School's initial attempt to enter the city had a setback, joined forces with Gwangju Technical High School, Gwangju Girls High School, and Gwangju Commercial High School. They became the core group and initiated protests from the very first day. Unlike protests in other regions led by college students, Gwangju's uprising is unique as it was a nationwide high school student-led movement involving both male and female students from the local area. The April 19 revolution marked the beginning of the democratic movement, triggered by a series of events including the condemnation of the fraudulent election of the Liberal Party on March 15, 1960, the discovery of the body of Kim joo yeol from Masan High School, who had gone missing during the Masan protest, and the numerous casualties during the protest by over 3,000 students from Korea University on April 18. It was also fueled by the people's anger at the harsh police crackdown on these protests, all of which were directly Directed against the authoritarian rule of President Lee Seung Man. The nationwide resistance started due to the brutal actions of the police, who used excessive force and violence involving gangsters during the protest. On the evening of April 18, a group of 12 students from Joseon University High School secretly gathered and initiated the first ever planning for the Gwangju uprising, marking the prologue of the April 19 revolution. Around 12.40 p.m. on April 19, Joseon University High School sophomores, who were determined to overthrow the authoritarian regime and protest against a fraudulent election, advanced nearby Gwangju Technical High School and Gwangju Girls High School. They broke through the walls and fences to free the students who were held back by the police and teachers. This allowed students to join the protest in large numbers. This became the vanguard of the Gwangju April 19 High School Students' United Protest, the only one of its kind in the country, and marked the strong point of Joseon University High School's involvement in the April 19 protest. The juniors, who joined the protest later than the sophomores, moved towards Namdong Catholic Church, while the seniors scattered towards the Dongmyeongdong Dongbangsa Temple. They erected barricades next to the provincial government building, confronted the police's water cannons, and resisted by throwing stones. The students from Joseon University High School and Gwangju Technical High School organized a confrontation with the police and managed to break through their barriers and advance towards the provincial government building, loudly demanding the downfall of the authoritarian regime and a new fair election. Upon reaching the front of the police station, the police asked the protesters for their demands. The student's representative from Joseon University High School, who was leading the protest, demanded that the authoritarian regime step down, a new election be held, detained students be released, and peaceful protests be guaranteed. When negotiations failed and the situation escalated with the attempt to enter the police station by the agitated United protesters, occupation of the Liberal Party's office in Jeonnam province, and police's crackdown, the male and female protesters were collectively detained in Sosok Elementary School's auditorium. The protesters pushed away from the city center due to martial law declaration and the police's harsh crackdown expressed their frustration and began throwing stones at the police station. The first fatality occurred in front of Hakdong police station, further intensifying the protest, leading to numerous casualties with the first day of protests continuing through the night. On the 20th of April, the second protest led by Jeonnam National University and Gwangju Agriculture High School students saw the participation of ordinary citizens in addition to the students. On April 26, as President Lee Seung Man announced his resignation and order was gradually restored, Joseon University High School's sophomore and juniors conducted fundraising for the victims on the streets all day long. Various schools in the city also collected relief funds and sent the money to aid facilities. 
On April 28, a joint memorial service for the victims of the April 19 revolution was held at the Gwangju Public Stadium with the participation of various local leaders and students from seven schools, including Joseon University High School's band, leading a procession to mourn the victims. Let's all remember the spirit of Joseon University High School who led the protest at the forefront of the Gwangju April 19 revolution in their successful fight against authoritarian rule and injustice, preserving freedom, democracy, and justice.